Hey there, my name is Chris Calabro. I'm the founder of Enosium. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in settings that allow you to enable a preference center for your subscribers so that when they hit an unsubscribe link, they are presented with a series of options about which emails or which types of communication they'd like to receive rather than just being unsubscribed by default. So to get started, I just want to explain briefly how that unsubscribe actually works if you haven't changed any of your modic settings. So by default, if you come in here and look at your configuration and then go down to email settings, there is a section called unsubscribe settings. And if you haven't ever touched anything here, it should look like this. And what this means is that if you send an email and someone gets that email, so I've sent a couple of emails with a couple different themes, um, and if someone clicks the unsubscribe link in your email, they'll see a message like this. Sorry, you know, we've unsubscribed you. If this was a mistake, you can click here to resubscribe. And basically the point is, is that by default, Modic will unsubscribe that person from all communications if they hit that unsubscribe link. Um, now that's okay, but in many situations, you're probably going to want to provide them with a preference center or give them a choice to receive, uh, other types of communication. So to do that in this unsubscribe settings, what you're going to do is turn on this show contact preference settings option. And what I'd also suggest is using segments to manage the types of email you send. And I'll show you that in a moment, but I'm going to turn on show contact segment preferences as well. You can also turn on some of these other features like categories, uh, preferred channel, which would be if you were sending SMS and email, for example, and you want to give people a choice of which one they receive. But for now, I'm just going to turn on the preference settings and segment options. And we'll come up here and save and close. And then to give your subscribers a choice of what types of communication they receive. In this case, obviously, we're going to use segments. So I've created three segments here, events, newsletter, and product updates. And it's important to note that these segments are public, and these two are private. And you can tell by looking at this little icon here, the little globe icon, I think it is. And if you open up uh, one of these segments to edit it, you'll see a little toggle here that says public segment, yes or no. And so anything that you want your subscribers to be able to update, to be able to choose yes or no, I want to receive these, these types of emails, that needs to be public. Anything that you don't want your subscribers to see needs to be private. So this is my segment to handle all of my bounced subscribers. I do not want them to see that. So that is set to no. And it's important to note that by default, when you create a new segment, let's say I'm making a new segment, uh, or let's just call this um, community uh, forum updates, and you want to give people an option to, to give forum updates or something like that. By default, this is set to yes. So if you're making a segment that says, you know, uh, unengaged subscribers, and you leave this as yes, when you enable that preference setting, uh, preference page setting, people are going to see this and they're going to say, oh, I'm in the unengaged subscribers segment. So you want to make sure anything that needs to be private is set to be not public. Okay. So we have our segments that we want people to be able to choose from, and we've gone to our settings and enabled that. So now if you take a look and you hit that unsubscribe link, you'll see that I'm presented with the name of the subscriber, you know, contact me through email, and I can choose the segments that I wish to be part of. So that's how you enable the message preferences, the preference setting. Now there's one final thing I'd like to mention. You see the style of this page here. This actually isn't a page in Modic per se. This is just a, a, a set of styles that are applied to this unsubscribe screen. So if you want to change the way this looks, this is actually tied in to the theme of the email that you are using. 
So if I come back here and I look at these other messages, if you, for example, this is the Sunday theme, right? If you unsubscribe from this, you'll see it's a different layout compared to this one. Or if you come and look at the cards theme, right? This is one of the newer themes in Modic, and you hit unsubscribe, you'll see this one has no styling. Now, why is that? It's because some themes in Modic don't have all three features. So to illustrate, if you look at your themes, it's possible for a theme to have a page, email, and form features. And if you look at this cards theme here, you'll see it's only an email theme. So when you come in and unsubscribe from this cards email, right, this is the cards theme, and you hit unsubscribe, that unsubscribe page has no styling by default. So that's just something to be aware of, that if you're sending from an email that doesn't have a uh, theme for the, for the page, um, that it's going to show, you know, no styles. It's basically going to look like this. All right, so that's a quick overview of the unsubscribe preferences and uh, setting up a preference page for your subscribers in Modic.